sodden with oil all the way along. Yo, since everyone last saw this, we didn't have the wing fitted, the old Lexus lights fitted, and uh, yeah, the rear end is just starting to come together, which is pretty sick. I've mounted the wing as far back as possible. Usually a standard, this will sit all the way back here. But because I've got some massive bumper and everything, this will now meet nicely with the bumper. I can show you that later on. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that's mounted. It's not stuck or anything yet. The D-Max lights should I say, fresh from Japan. LED bad boys. They all fit nicely with the untapped side as you'd, you'd expect. Up here fits all nice even though this is all skewer. The real problem is the smashed up side that's been straightened. Uh, it's sort of hitting here and it's just a bit wonk and that is as close as we can get it at the moment because it's all a bit, this whole corner is a bit wonky but uh, I think with a bit of trimmage of this I can make this look fairly stock again which is good but yeah pretty happy with my lights that everyone else is going to hate in the world yes. today's main job is the gearbox seal and obviously at a later date a couple of days time we'll do the front seal as well we're going to do also uh, redo the bracket for the power steering pump. Look at the drips there, B. Look at that drip. Nice. Sodden with oil all the way along. I can't get it straight in, so you're gonna have to have poor tread view. There's the rubber seal in there. Because it's leaking. It's dribbling out the bottom still. And you can see the oil all up here. Dribbling off of these. You can see that. It's literally wet with oil everywhere here. Yeah. Last bit of jizz on the seal. <laughs> Alright, we've wiped this out, give it a good clean there as well. It's just lots of clean where it's mating to. No more leaky seals. Not back here. It was just these two, wasn't it? The front seal and the rear gearbox. By the looks of things, yeah. Two main seals. Rear gearbox main rear seal. How much oil was everywhere? <laughs> Lovely. Still was in, boy. There. Right, I'll have to get you back on that one thing you're good at, Tom. Making tea. Pulling the handbrake. <laughs> Mate, you know that's not true. <laughs> I know. It's it's usually unless it's raining <laughs> like like today. If it's raining, I I will chirp the handbrake a little bit. Yeah, man. I mean, at the end of the day, the speed you need to scrub it sometimes. Isn't it? I I've still hands up. Haven't had enough practice like in trains to use the handbrake properly, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, to be fair, when I was doing that little bit of semi-twinning at LTD, I was never touching the handbrake, it was more brake and clutch kicking. Well, this is, yeah, this is what I mean, like with the MX-5, you, you should yeah. never really need to press no. it unless, unless you're really up close with everyone and having to adjust all the time. Well, even still, when I was getting really fucking close to people and we was like touching, touching them a bit, I still wasn't putting the handbrake. I just like left foot braking and then stomping the clutch. Mm. And then left foot braking, stumping the clutch, left foot braking, stumping the clutch. Like constantly in between, because obviously as soon as you touch the brake, you lose a little bit of that speed and your momentum, and the MX-5 just wants to straighten up. We do need to get you just a cheaper car as well, just so we can go and rub doors somewhere, man. We should just get a couple of beaters and go to these missile events and just go and rub each other's doors. I, yeah, I would. Because then we get used to like being on each other's door, do you know what I mean? Then I, yeah, I'm... Go to the side in one of these better cars, better events. For example, when I move, I, I'll have the space for probably another car or whatever. So I would just get a like, Beam or, you know, Mazda or anything really. 
Yeah. Literally 500 quid or less. Like. Yeah, standard. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and then we're just going to literally do what I did to my master and just go and beat them up until we can't. The body's so bad, we don't want to use it anymore. Hmm. And then we've had enough practice of beating each other. Because I haven't had enough practice. It's no, always... exactly. And not, but nor had I. And that first, like, the first two weeks I went to Rocky, I hadn't even tried. I just got a little bit close to a couple of people, but I haven't tried twinning at all. And then from that, I tried getting a bit closer and just become, within the four, three to four weeks of doing it and getting closer, I got fucking... Oh, dude, it's like with anything, isn't it? It's... Uh... Yeah, if you if you get enough practice, like you know, because all the shot is so close, it's stupid for me not to have a twin in practice, like whenever they have one, yeah. really. But I don't necessarily want to obviously take this. No. I, I could take all of its panels off and just practice. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, no, I wouldn't. Pretty solid. I mean, that's pretty strong, though. Oh, the hairline cracks now. The thing is, though, I suppose from you, do, from you doing this. There, oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay, so that's the problem, isn't it? Yeah. But correct. The fact that you've just been doing that and now you've got a hairline crack across it. it you know now that you're... Yeah, but you've got to think as well, that would never have happened on your no, own. No, I know, but at the same time, you're still not doing much and it's caused that, if you know what I mean. I know it wouldn't happen when it's on the car, but like, it's still under decent stress every now and again, isn't it, so... Yeah, we'll be putting on it, but... The reason we're taking this mount off is Kev wants to make a stronger version. This was his test piece to get it on there, make sure it all fits. It all fits lovely, but I um, don't know if you can see, there's... there's hairline crack and stuff so it would never be strong enough like it would never be subjected to being dropped and stuff like we've just done but this needs to be stronger so he's going to go back and make the proper final mount or version 2 mount where that is all nice and neat and stronger ready to take some abuse it's quite annoying you don't have the old seat rail well i have the old seat Do with you? the seat rail on it yeah, Dude. Sitting there, isn't it? Oh, mate, let's get Fell off. Now that I'm not fucking trying to get it off, fell off. Lovely. I don't think it needs to move. It's factory mounting places with a factory mounting seat bar. So you know I mean, look, that'll be in there solid. You know that's solid for the seat. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I'll just remove all of this mechanism shit from it. So I don't need all of that. So it'll just be this part of the rail and that part of the rail. And we'd just cut this tab off or extend. Do you think it'll side. sit really high though because of them? No, if I joined it onto them, yeah, it would, but no, it won't. It'll sit at that height. The bottom of the seat will be at that height. Mm. Or slightly lower than that. I think it's fine anyway, to be fair. I mean, they're not the driver, they're just sitting in holding on for dear life anyway, isn't it? So, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, today was just a quick one for Kev to uh, take off his mount again, make sure it's all strong and do a proper version two on it. Also to measure up the uh, 
tube in for the catch can, get all the tea pieces all sorted as well for that. It's gonna be quite a busy week next week because I've, I've provisionally booked in the wrap. I've decided to go wrap. I'll reveal the color and everything uh, on the wrap video. I will give the uh, sort of badly painted rear part of the body a sand ready for the uh, wrap. I've got to fit my over fenders, drill all the holes, and just make sure it's a complete car ready to uh, put the color change. And then pretty soon after that, probably next week, uh, the week after wrapping, uh, so two weeks time from now, we're gonna do the livery. We're gonna get Adam over, who's designed the livery. And we're gonna fit that over a day or maybe two to make sure it's all good. Um, so that'll be good fun, because we've got massive pieces like this, which is gonna be one big piece, one big mural. So yeah, it's gonna be a two person job. And yeah, it's exciting. I've got three weeks now until the Teesside Weekender. Really looking forward to it, because obviously we haven't had a season this year so far. Don't know how many uh, drift days I'm gonna get, get in this year. Though I'm hoping that this Teesside Weekender will be dry and it'll be pretty cool. I think there's a lot of uh, good cars and drivers gonna be there. So it'll be the first reveal of its final look will be the Teesside Weekender. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, I need to get the wheels as well, the wheels refurbed in silver to go with the uh, look that I'm going to have and just well, generally tidy it up because you know everything's a bit worn out from the last few seasons. But yeah, it's all a go and it's, there's going to be plenty of videos of me making sure she looks all good before the Teesside Weekender. Stay tuned.